we go then. Mikko Hirvonen in his own Ford Escort. He's got his boy next to him. He's, yeah. he's, doing, he's doing social media story <laughs> by the looks of things. Not sure he's co-driving well for him. It's uh, uh, Roper Hirvonen, his 16-year-old son, who is uh, next door to him in the car. Now, his son very much into rallying as well. He's autocross at the moment. Have a look at this beauty. Look and listen. Let's listen. The Audi Quattro S1. How was special to drive this with your son in the passenger seat? Oh, it was really... Uh, I really enjoyed it. I hope the spectators were loving it as well. And I wouldn't mind just carry on to the next stage now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I had a feeling you might say that, because Susie got a bit of a taste for it. Uh, so, yeah, going oh, back to the... Oh! oh couple didn't of moments. expect a moment there. Wow! It is Petri Opas who's driving this. Now, he has lovingly, painstakingly recreated this. This is a replica Audi Quattro S1. It took a year of research to be able to, to be able to piece it together, but then two and a half to three years to actually get all the bits and pieces he needed to create this car, which is a replica of the car that Hanny Mikola drove. Oh dear. Oh, fair play. He just did. Yeah, 1986 Rally Monte Carlo, Jules. So this yeah. is a replica of it. Hanu Mikola's signature is on the roof of this car. So Hanu had, you know, said, yep, I approve. I've, I've, I'll give I've, you my signature. I've been having a look at this car, and I, I, I just think it's just brutality. It's fantastic. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> but I don't think there's a better rear end in the service park than what is on this car. I mean, just it, it's just, oops, we're having a bit of a slide. Just well, he's having look. a good run here, though, isn't well, just he? Just look at the back end on it. It is just brilliant. It really is. Oh, man. I read a brilliant article about how he, you know, the, the, the time he spent putting this car together. It's exceptional. It really is. Miko Hevenen has actually driven this car, and he, his, I think his exact quote was, it's insane. <laughs> uh, it's just, but just look at it. As I said, brutal. Oh, I just, brilliant. See Proper you, seats you, and everything in there, the Recaro <laughs> seats, everything. See if you can give us a couple of words. Well, that sounded very exciting. It's so lovely. It's big memory for Mikola. It's, Mikola is forever in my heart. It's unbelievable It's I am here now. Thank yeah, you. Some nice words there. Hanu Mikola, of course, who... There we go. Hanu passed away when we were in Arctic Rally Finland. You yeah, know, so. but he's been beautifully represented before the rally in that magnificent video we saw and again here on this celebration. Run through with the cars. OK, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 3 then of Tommy Mackinnon. Seven wins in this car. Six in the WRC, one in the Asia Pacific Championship in work as well. It's quite a stack, Finland 95 and 96 wins in this car. And he looks as if he's rearing to go, Jules, doesn't he? I think we can see a little bit of showboating here. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Let's just listen to it. Oh, we've had a bit of a spin and a stall. But, I mean, this, this car, I remember when it was out. Maybe. We, we had a Mitsubishi garage at home and, you know, this is what kind of, we were building all our rally. I was at, at school or at work mm. and you'd go back to look on the teletext at home to kind of like see what was going on. One of the Toyotas just coming. Yeah, through. this is going to go, going to be Yari Matty Latvala's dad, Yari Latvala, in the Toyota Celica. to see you here. How was the stage for you in this fantastic car? Yeah, yes, very fun, very fun. Uh, enjoy. And you drove well? Yes, yes, please. Now, this is a Rally Sweden winning car back in 1992. Mats Jonsson won it. Tommy's got his car going. I've just seen him go out of sight very, very sideways. Like he's going to be making up for that uh, little bit of a mistake at the start. 
Devo 3 was one of my favorite group A cars. It was so iconic yeah. at the time. You know, everyone wanted one of these cars. Everyone I, had the stickers all over their own road car yeah. Mitsubishis. You but know? You, you look at the Group A era. Yeah. Oh, oh my word. You look at the Group A era, you know, you had the Mitsubishis, the F4 Escort Cosworth, the Subaru Impress. Yeah. It was a really iconic. It was. Because literally, the Mitsubishi Evo 3 that you looked at in the showroom looked like that. You know? Yeah. It looked like the, what, there's no air, there's no, there's a spoil on the back. That was what it came with, the standard road car. There was no big bits of carbon stuck onto it. The Group A era was as you would buy it in the showroom. In the showroom, exactly. You could be a rally driver out on your uh, local lanes at home. I just remember in the dark, the flames that used to come out of them. Engine management systems are a lot more sophisticated now than what they were. Huge flames used to come out the back and anti-lag systems were just so aggressive, but yeah, great. Yeah, fantastic. Pulling in now then to the stop control jokes there to have a, a quick chat with Tommy. Oh. Is this bringing back a lot of memories for people out there? That's what I want to know. How does it feel to be back in Finland driving an Evo 3? <laughs> I think this car's not quite <laughs> anymore. 15 years, 15 years ago, they were very fast. And now? Good feeling, good <laughs> feeling. Good. Not quite the same as, you know, jumping into cars. Now, this is you, Hark Henkin, and driving the GR Yaris. We're back right up to date now. And our very own Molly Pettit is in the car with him, alongside him. There she is. It's a standard road car, but it's actually <laughs> not too bad. Uh, it's not bad at all. No, no, it's quite nice. <laughs> You know, it's not a bad day at the office when you're alongside Yuha Kankinen in a car, Julian, is it? I think Molly would be quite frustrated she can't video that herself and do her own <laughs> Insta stories like Miko's son was. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, what a great Let's thing. Let's hear from Molly. <laughs> wow, I didn't think it would be going this quick on the stage because Yuha told me he was going to take it easy. You're not easy, taking it. Easy. If, if we take a rally car, we go much faster. <laughs> at least we can drive a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm having a proper rally fan moment here, guys, and I'm quite starstruck as well in the car with a full-time world rally champion, and he's going quite fast on this stage, I have to say. Oh my gosh. Not wow, sure about your note you calling, are. Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about my note calling either. There's sort of a, a squeal and a giggle and a, oh gosh. <laughs> Brilliant, you're enjoying it. <laughs> well, this is great fun. I am, Actually, I am enjoying it. If you think about that, yes. If you think about that, it's standard road car. <laughs> it's brilliant. You are, you've got some great memories from this rally, yeah? And he's waving to all the crowd. Brilliant. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is great fun. You guys should be on board with me here. Do you know what? I wish we were. This is probably the most fun you're going to have all weekend now. You might have to need, need to lie down after this, I think. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. <laughs> I'm really sort of sweating here, guys. Woo! Oh my gosh. Can she is multitasking. World rally car with you. That will be double faster. So it's the GR Yaris you can see here. You hold Kankinen behind the wheel. Molly Pettit oh. alongside. Good. That, okay. That was good. I'm okay. <laughs> I'll go do it in the proper rally car, then you should see. Then you see something. Can we go again? <laughs> Check your watch, Molly. What time did you do? Uh, no idea. No idea. <laughs> and I've got to get out because I've got to do interviews at the stop line. But ah, you are staying in the stop line. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you are. I was about to take me back to service, guys. But I've got to get out. I, I stop over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is live, live. This is live, live. You could go and do the next stage, Molly. <laughs> Thanks very much. That was very entertaining. Okay. Next Thank stage. Thank you. <laughs>
next time. Thank you. So we can do the next one. Yeah, next one, next one. We're going to the next one. We need a reporter. We need another yeah, reporter. We've anyone lost one. one. <laughs> OK. Now we are, as we said, we're back up to date with the GR Yaris, but also Julian with a Mini on the stop line. Something very special about this Mini. It's Matthias Henkeler, who's the CEO of Secto Automotive, the sponsor of Rally Finland. What's special about this car, Jules? Well, you mentioned earlier on about the past, the present, and then the future. This is the future. First zero emission car to come on a WRC stage. And uh, yeah, we're in a Mini, but it's what's actually running the Mini and, and powering the Mini more than the actual body shell, so to speak. But as you say, uh, Matthias has worked hard on this and uh, he's going to show us around the stage from this perspective, from the, what we can expect in the future, so to speak. Yeah, uh, so it's 100% renewable fuel this car is running on. As Julian said, complete zero emission from this car as it heads through the stage. That's it. I mean, it'll still sound the same. So don't worry about that. But it, as you said, um, it's renewable fuel. So that's exactly what we, the, the future is looking at. You know what I mean? It's got all the correct liveries on it. That's for sure. It's looking good. We wait then for this car to head in to the stage. It is the Mini Cooper. It's what I've got at home, but not quite as fancy as this. We said, we said it'll sound the same. Sounds it does. exactly the same. Look at it go. Oh, something's fallen off it. Not sure what that <laughs> is. We'll ignore that. It's not important. Pick it up later. You know, this is the kind of car you want on this kind of stage as well. It's nippy, it's agile. Nimble. Yes. But, uh, oh, 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 we've got a big lockup. It's never good. Big lockups. Looked good. <laughs> Matthias actually drives in the Finnish Rally Championship, so he knows what he's doing. You can certainly tell that. Obviously, next year, remember, we're going to the hybrid system with the World Rally Car, so... Yep. There'll be road sections and service park running in electric. This is quite a symbolic moment to be able to see this. I'm liking the, the, the bit of the dress rehearsal we're getting to see this stage as well also, which is coming up, of course, for all our cars in around about half an hour's time this stage will go live the first stage of rally finland 2021 but we're kicking off the 70th edition of the event in style with this incredible parade we've had from some legendary cars we're having a good go here matthias is really throwing it around i'm liking it if you're wondering what's going on this is a, a, a show stage before the main stage but this is uh, matthias henkeler it's 100% renewable fuel in this Mini. Everyone else who's gone through before, maybe bar you are Kankinen, had a very, very precious bit of cargo, and yeah. it was maybe a bit delicate. Matthews is thinking, I'm going to show the world what I can do in my little Mini. I've got a feeling he might be the fastest through. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might be. We haven't got timed runs here, but... Uh... He looked very, very agile through that stage. Matthias then completes for us. And hopefully we'll get a couple of words with Jade. At the stop control, let's have a listen in here. You've just driven this stage on 100% sustainable fuel, but it looked fantastic. Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome that we can show a large public what you can do with, with uh, in, in, in situations where you need a power to weight ratio, where you can't use an electric vehicle, so I think it's pretty awesome. And it's, you know, with, this is just a normal rally car, normal R4. Uh, we all, are only using a 98 map, and uh, basically make, it's made out of electricity, water, and, and air. Yeah, that, it's pretty incredible, isn't it? You know, when you consider that. Okay. Well, that was then our rally parade ahead of the start of the rally proper. Let's head now back into the service park. We're going to rejoin Kiri Blow outside as we await what will be stage one here at the 70th edition of Rally Finland.
Well, thank you so much, Bex Williams, Julian Porter, and of course, Molly and Jade as well. What a great way to start off the 70th anniversary, steeped in history here in Finland, and such big and famous names as well. Fantastic to see them all running out. Now, the stage, as Bex was saying, will start in about half an hour's time, and of course, is Hayu. Now, we did catch up with some of the drivers ahead of Rally Finland about what their thoughts are on the stages and Finland itself. So let's drop into that now. Finland, one of the jewels of the WRC crown. Boy Tanak as keen as anyone to get back into the familiar forest. He's chasing a rally Finland hat-trick, having enjoyed successive wins with Toyota in 2018 and then again 2019. Another dominant performance in the Yaris in what turned out to be a world championship winning season before the Estonian made the switch to Hyundai. Tanek very much looking forward to putting his I-20 to the test against his former team on Finland's famous stages. It's great to go back. I mean, it's the land of railing and uh, this car never been there, so uh, it will be a challenge. Uh, I know Toyotas have been dominating there since the beginning of the era, so uh, now it will be the last time in Finland with these cars, so uh, it will be important to give them a bit of fight. Finland is uh, intense, uh, it's fast, it's a lot over the crest and every crest is, is making the car light different way and then you have jumps and, uh, and constant cornering, so uh, I mean you need to be really spot on and uh, because it's so fast a lot is happening so the focus needs to be really there and, uh, and I would say yeah, the margin is small so all this together uh, you need to be really on it. Put another way, there's precious little room for error. Get it wrong in Finland, and the consequences are often brutal. Even for the very best, Seb Ogier has been caught out more than once. That said, the world champion has also won in Finland, back in 2013, during his VW days. It's very much a case of risk versus reward. It's one of these rally where you need a... Um more than 100% of commitment to win it. The local guys are always flying there, the famous flying fin, so for sure, uh, uh, yeah, we always expect tough concurrence when, when you start this event, but uh, I always enjoy driving there. I always say that it's uh, one of the most magical places to drive a World Rally car, so for sure, uh, I'm looking forward for it every time, but for sure, this time uh, is uh, in October, so we can have some surprise. The weather might be different than we used to be. As the man said, they've cheered on many a flying fin over the decades. The locals dominating for years. Hannu Mikkola, Marku Alin, Ari Vatnen, Juha Kankanen, Timo Salonen, Tommy Mackinen, a record seven-time winner Marcus Gronholm, and more recently, Yari Mati Latvala. Each and every one a multiple winner of their home event. Finnish legends one and all. Chance the locals will have plenty to celebrate this year. Two wins in the past three events for Kalarov and Pera. That first WRC victory in Estonia, similar terrain to the Finnish stages. Outstanding in Greece, their youngster in cracking form. Yeah, of course, the confidence is not good, but uh, I also knew, know that Finland is going to be really tough this year. I think uh, the competition is really high, and the speed what we have seen this year from Hyundai is also. They are really fast, like on, on uh, Estonia also. So I think in Finland it's going to be difficult. First time with WC car there, of course. It's a home event for me, but new stage is quite a lot and new condition. So, yeah, of course, uh, I feel the pressure that it's a home rally, but uh, I know that I just need to do my job and see where it takes us. Karo Pere in pursuit of his first home victory at the top level. On current form, you wouldn't bet against it. Several more season campaigners are still chasing the first win in the hallowed forest, where some drivers naturally feel more at home than others. I couldn't win it yet. I've been a couple of times on the podium. It's a very, very nice event, uh, but it's one of the more difficult and tougher events for myself. I have always been very fast when it's technical and position is very important. Over there, it's more like keep it flat and throw it as much as you can uh, sideways. And it's not my driving style, but of course I, I can adapt. And uh, like I said, we have had several podiums over there, so um, we, can, we can do it, but it's not where I feel most comfortable. 
You know, there's nothing quite like uh, the sensation of driving in Finland, especially with the current cars, with, with all the aero that we have. It's uh, a fantastic experience. Um, but also, you know, there's, there's things like the fans, you know, they're very passionate about rallying there. So there's a fantastic atmosphere there also. So it's all those things put together that really make uh, Rally Finland stand out. It's hard to put into words, really. It's, it's kind of like Monaco. It's just one of the, the rallies with so much history. And it's the fast one that everyone has the big kahunis. They want to win it. So uh, everyone wants to add that to their, to their list of wins. Uh, but this year will be completely different. Uh, night stages, it's going to be cold, it's going to be wet. Uh, yeah, we don't really know what to expect. So uh, good thing I've got some Finnish friends.